When you need advice, come to Ben and Kelly. It's group therapy on 99.7 DJX. So Xander's reaching out, said, so recently I heard you guys talk about petty things people break up about. (laughs) So here's my dilemma. Oh, gosh. I've been dating a guy, let's call him Kyle, for over a year now. He's good looking, has long term friends, has mm-hmm. a good job, mm-hmm. always very happy, has a positive outlook in life. I mm-hmm. mean, he checks all the boxes. Sounds great. When I take him out to a bar, introduce him to new people, I get the sense that people are just naturally drawn to him. Mm-hmm. Might be because he's a tall glass of water, if you know <laughs> what I mean. Sure. Here's my dilemma. When it's just me and him in a room by ourselves, his other voice comes out. Uh huh. I mean, his very high pitch sounds like a little kid's voice. <laughs> I, I I don't I don't want to laugh at it, at something he can't control. He's a grown man with a high pitched voice, and sometimes it may sound like a little girl. Oh, no. Kind of dampers the mood sometimes. Mm-hmm. All I do is just stare at him while he's doing it. I'm getting the sense that he's comfortable around me and he's able to express himself to me, which is a good thing. But the voice not hot. Right. Sometimes it's hard for me to be intimate because of it. He also has been in relationships before me, and they abruptly ended the relationship right away. Was it because of the voice? Oh. I guess what I'm asking is if any of your listeners who have dated anyone who later got comfortable with and started to let their freak flag fly, <laughs> how do I approach this with him and address the issue without crushing his soul? Oh. I want him to express himself, but without that, quote, other voice. Okay. Love the show. Okay. Need some advice. So is it, I'm assuming this is something, like he he puts on, Kyle puts on like a front when they go out and he's like, hello, hi. Yes, My maybe name. he purposely tries to put on a fake like deep voice. This is how I always talk anyway. Hello, my name is Kyle and yes. I I have a manly deep voice. But then, yes. you know, he he uh, gets home and he slumps on the couch. He takes hey, off Sandra, his shoes. Like, dinner? Hey, so. Fried chicken or <laughs> beef stroganoff or what can what can we have? Oh, I don't tacos? know. Tacos? Do you like tacos tonight? Oh gosh, I mean, I get it. I get it. I okay. I, I Kelly, have you ever dated a guy that doesn't have like a voice like you would? No. Yeah, I. No. That, that, that doesn't. I guess. I guess it doesn't fit his appearance. Yeah, no, I have never found myself in that situation. Well, see, we in radio get that all the time, but not from a dating standpoint. You know what I mean? Right, like you don't sound like your voice? Exactly. We yeah. we, we get the whole, oh, I thought you were going to be, in my case, taller. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I'm... And not a ginger. <laughs> I didn't think you were a ginger. What is it about? Red hair and me almost being 5'10", that's a turnoff. Oh, bless your heart. Thank no, you. you, yes. You wear it well, Sparky. Uh, okay. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Appreciate it. I, I think this is just, it comes down to if you can deal with it or if it starts to ruin your attraction. So, yeah, I was going to say, is it is it a hurdle? And, and maybe this is an answer that only you can answer for yourself or a question only you can answer for yourself. Is it a deal breaker Or is it something that you can learn to just live with? Because, you know, you like, obviously, he has a comfort in you and he feels comfortable around you. So that's a good thing, right? Yes. Andrew says, yo, talk normal, bro. Be honest, be straightforward. If they respect you enough, they'll survive hearing that from you. But how do you, okay, so so that's part of what Xander's saying is like, how do I say it to him? Well, I, right. maybe, maybe you ask, is that um a new voice that you're using around me? Because is that you sound a different new voice? When we're out. You sound and maybe try to try to make it sound like he's creating the high voice and not creating the low voice. Hmm. Maybe I don't know. Okay. All right. I uh, would love to hear, especially um, if you've got. A, a story of a person that you were dating and then they sh- exposed a little freak flag to you and it took a big it, it took a lot for you to get past it would love or to- did did you point it out 
And how did that go? Yeah, exactly. We want to, we want to hear those stories, all right? We'll take those stories. Hey, X, good morning. Ben Davis, Kelly K Show. So Xander's been dating Kyle for over a year. Great. Checks all the boxes. But now that they're getting comfortable, he's hearing Kyle's real voice when they're alone. And it's... And it's high-pitched. High-pitched. Little yeah. kid voice. And like, ah, kind of a turnoff. How's he approach yeah. this without hurting him? That's what he's yeah. wanting to know. I don't want to crush his soul, but right. I need to tell him about it yeah. and see if there's a way we can fix it. Mm-hmm. Jessica said, speech language pathology student here. There's a condition called puberphonia where adult men have a higher pitched voice than expected. In some cases, it's caused by or worsened by nerves. He could see a voice specialist if he's concerned about it. I wonder if that's what was my problem for so many years. Really? I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> people say I have a, a little bit higher voice than... Uh, it's, an, a, it's a contemporary voice, sure, sure. I think is how they describe it. Right. Uh, Andrew, the love doctor. His voice changes dramatically. I mean, like from one instance to another, there's a reason for that. How long has it been going on? Has he always been this way? You know, but again, if, it, if that's how he talks in general and that's who he is, he needs to talk like that all the time. People are going to accept you for who you are, or they're not going to accept you. And if they don't accept you, move on. Ah, so you know, so, it, so it's it, almost like a hey, you know what? Have that conversation of hey, you just got to live your your real self. Yeah, um, but again, I, I dated a girl that that talked through her nose, um, uh-huh. and it was it was tough. I mean, right. it was because I couldn't. It wasn't the fact that she talked through her nose. I just couldn't understand her very yeah, well sometimes. Yeah, got it. And yeah. that was an issue for me. But no, Andrew, the love doctor. Thank you, man. Keep on loving, guys. All right. Uh, Roxanne said he's a high talker. Yet another episode of Seinfeld. <laughs> forgot about that <laughs> oh yeah I, I i forgot about that as well i know I, we got a couple of comments on facebook uh, if you can go there at ben and kelly show that were pretty good people are chiming in and offering some really good advice um alexa said i do that too often when we're at home it's a vulnerability thing it happens without me even thinking about it it could be the same for kyle too so oh you mean like just like slip into a different a different voice a voice yes. right, that's weird i know uh, kathleen said you're right that he feels safe around you he can let his guard down trying to tell him that his other voice is so hot that you wish he would use it more use some tact So you won't crush his soul, maybe even start a conversation and ask him if there's anything that you do that annoys him. Communication is key. Mm, That's good. Yeah, Nick. Yeah, so he doesn't feel attacked. I was going to say, Nikki's like, hey, just remember, when you ask someone to change themselves, they may become withdrawn from you and then ask the same of you. So uh, figure out if it's something you really can't live with. Well, it might make them really self-conscious around you yeah, like, all the time. And I don't think you want that dynamic in your relationship either. I think the big I think the big thing that we can applaud is that he feels so comfortable that he and and obviously this is something that is self is is self-conscious for him, right? Um, and so he if feels he, so yeah, comfortable since he's putting on a different voice. It seems like he's aware of it. Right. Exactly. And so he feels so comfortable around you that he can kind of be his real self. And you want that. You want someone to be their real self around you. You don't want someone to have, you know, uh, a fake personality or so, or someone who they're not. So. Right. But then you have to figure out, does that real self annoy you too much to the point where you're just it kind of kills the yeah, you know, yeah. your feelings for him? I get it. I get it. So I think there are a lot of good suggestions here. Um, yeah, I mean, you absolutely have to try to figure out a way to, you know, approach it. Maybe starting with the positive with like, hey, you know that voice you use when we're out? I really like that. <laughs> Where'd that go? <laughs> All right. Well, hey. Can you do that more? Good luck. Hopefully it works out and, and it's it's something that either, you know, you can – Learn to, to, to be cool with, or, you know, maybe maybe that is a deal breaker for you. So I guess time will tell.